Hello, hello. Welcome back to Thirsty for Art, where we talk all about online non-clinical art therapy business and how to start that and grow that. Uh, this is Yu Jung, and I'm very excited to talk about today's topic, which is really addressing the idea that people can't book my sessions because people can't pay for it. So this is a belief that, or or thought that we often have as art therapists and art facilitators. I have heard about this many times before, and I also kind of dealt with this before in my own business as well, especially in the beginning uh, stages when I was just offering my you know my package and things like that before offering it i had this thought i think and so i know that this belief that people can't book our sessions because they can't pay for it is one of the biggest blocks to getting actual clients and actually building a business that's sustainable and profitable and not to mention sustainable and profitable but Let's really talk about the essence here, which is we're making a difference in the world, right? That's our kind of like big goal here. You know, as art therapists and art facilitators, we're here to make a difference. But then if we think that people can't book our help, people can't get our help, then we are going to stop ourselves from doing that, right? From putting our offer out there, from marketing it, from knowing that people will book it and doing the things necessary to make it easy for people to book us. So that's why I'm going to talk about it. And also it ties into our money beliefs and ties into our abundance mindset, scarcity mindset, which I think is a huge, huge thing that we have to really work on as our therapists and our facilitators who have our own businesses in order to make a difference in this world and to offer our services out there, our offer our important and valuable service out there, we have to work through our money mindset and abundance slash lack of scarcity mindset. So let me explain, okay? People can't book my sessions because people can't pay for it. Let's dive into this, right? I'm gonna help you kind of change your perspective on this, right? So when we offer our art therapy services, when we offer our art facilitation services, we got to have faith. We just have to have faith. What I mean by faith is we have to have faith in people. We have to have faith in abundance. We have to have faith that we are all connected. So we just have to have this kind of abundance mindset. That's what I mean by faith. Like we trust in the abundance. We trust it. You know, we cannot be committed to the belief that scarcity, lack, and poverty is everywhere. It just cannot happen. Like, things cannot happen if we commit to those things, scarcity, lack, and poverty, right? Because when we think scarcity, lack, and poverty is everywhere, we cannot focus on bringing abundance. What happens when you focus on lack and scarcity is that you will feel powerless. Believing in lack and scarcity is being in a powerless position. Just think about, even just imagine it right now, don't like think of lack and think of scarcity, how powerless that feels, right? But this is the truth. We cannot help someone by being powerless ourselves. We cannot be the person who feels powerless to help other people be empowered. We have to, we, the helper, the facilitator, the art therapist need to step into the, the empowered state, right? The more empowered state in order to help others do the same, in order to create positive change, create empowerment, um, or bring out empowerment, help other people step into that, and make change right in, in this world and bring healing healing is always about empowering ourselves right from believing that we're powerless to believing that we are powerful right healing is that it's all about letting go of the idea that we're lacking something 
that we're missing something or that we're not good enough. Something is not good enough out there, maybe. And just stepping into the truth, the truth that we are whole. We are not lacking. We are not missing things. We are not in scarcity. We have everything we need inside of us. That is healing, right? You know, we are connected. Knowing that we are connected, we are wholesome. We have what we need. We are wholesome. So when we believe in poverty, in scarcity, what it means is that we are believing in disconnection. Disconnection to the infinite source of resource, support, and love. Right? Isn't that what it is? Scarcity means disconnection from what is more infinite. Scarcity means disconnection from support. So let's not believe in disconnection because that helps. That makes us feel powerless. And in that powerless position, it's challenging. It gets hard to help other people, <laughs> right? We have to know that connection is what we are made of. We are connected to good things. We are connected to resources. We are connected to source. Right? We are connected to what is whole, right? I always think of like, when I think about wholesomeness and connection, I think about mandala, right? To me, abundance, right, is that full mandala, like the full circle, knowing that we are connected, we are wholesome. And scarcity means just not feeling like it is connected, right? So... Even when someone was going back to like maybe concrete terms. So even when someone might not seem to have the money or funds to pay for your sessions, you know, that may be, they just don't see how they can pay for something they want or need in this current moment right now. But it doesn't mean that they can never pay for it. What if tomorrow they have extra funds come in? What if a friend pays them back a debt they had for this potential client. And so they suddenly have money. What if a supportive person in that person's life or maybe a family member decides to pay for the person? I don't know. That could happen. I've seen that happen in my one of my programs before. Totally possible. So, you know, and then also the other possibility, what if they found ways to earn a little bit more this month and the next month to be able to pay for your service? So that's another possibility. And actually, possibilities are infinite. It's just we never know. As humans, we can never predict, right, what will happen, what kind of resources they might have available that even the client might not even know right now but it could be visible tomorrow, right? So, so many things can happen that will, can allow and enable that person to pay and book you and get that service. So when I think of it, you know, why are we so focused on how someone cannot pay for it <laughs> when there's just so many infinite possibilities that someone who, someone can pay for it, even if they're not rich, even if they're like, not a certain income level or even if whatever right whatever the situation is things can happen and just so many possibilities that they can still pay for your service right so we're just trying to let go of the block that there is no other way this person can pay us right that's what i think scarcity mindset is all about we always kind of like conclude we block off the possibilities that oh Things can happen, right? Things can uh, be paid. Resources are available uh, in some way or form, right? Uh, so scarcity mindset just blocks us off from all those infinite possibilities. I think that sometimes we really have to step into the part of us that doesn't just use our eyes doesn't just use our senses or reason and logic and, and the past and history to do things, right? To do things that are aligned with us. We sometimes have to be open to the mystery. <laughs> sometimes have to be open to what is magical, 
you know sometimes we have to be open to miracles sometimes we have to be open to good things happening <laughs> and i think that once you really step into the state of feeling abundant and knowing that we are connected so basically being in this mind upon this mindset we are just so much more open to possibilities to miracles to magic to play to fun to resources right i mean that's kind of, and, and even the child inside of us the inner child sometimes i think that the biggest difference between a child and an adult is that adult turn off the idea that there are possibilities while the child still thinks there are possible or they already know that there are possibilities are endless right <laughs> i think that's probably one of the biggest differences between a child versus an adult and the problem with adults is that we really silence that inner child part of us that still has still is open to possibilities and so i think that is beautiful sometimes to be open to magic to be to be open to good things happening right to possibilities and potential right and so step into that state right it's okay it's okay to do that so i know a lot of times we struggle with this idea that Sometimes we have to just offer our services at a certain price point in order for us to make a living, right? We cannot make a session like $10. It's, it's just, it's not going to allow us to survive, basically, because that's volunteering. And so when we are talking about making a living, right, um, and, and doing this because it is our mission, but also because we will love to do what we love to do, and earn a living we have this dilemma that you know we know that we have to charge this much we know this is the price however we're just so resistant to doing that we're so i cannot charge that i need to charge half of that or a quarter of that I need to make this as cheap as possible as quote-unquote accessible as possible but you know i will just i just want to say because we're talking about pricing and money right now it's okay to offer your sessions to people who do have the means right now i don't know i think that there's just so much guilt and shame in offering something for people who have means right now maybe a, a selective few it's okay it's okay to offer and help people who can get the help right now to the few who can get the help right now you don't have to be in a hurry to help everyone and anyone on this planet you're human right and we're here to help who we can help right now with the things that we have right now and you don't have to offer what you can offer to the masses right now to help everyone and anyone everyone right now and you can stop feeling guilty that you're not helping everyone because you're not a savior i think that we misunderstand this we think that we have to be the savior here we're not here to save anyone with art therapy <laughs> oh it's kind of weird because i know we're helping people we're on a mission however we're not here to save people because saving people means that we are going to block all those struggles and pains and whatnot we're gonna obliterate obliterate and erase all those things from their life and prevent all those things from their life but how how are we gonna do that that's not my that's not our role right that's god's role right there and we are just here to not obliterate completely erase pain and save people from the gutter right because we are not the main character of those people's lives they are the main character and they have to write their own story they have to write their own book we all have our own book to write and so we cannot take that power away from them by saying oh you have to erase this you have to you're not gonna do this you're not gonna do that 
or you're not going to feel this and you're not going to feel that. We cannot do those things because saving people means the, the, that. We're, just, we're completely blocking them off from all、uh, quote unquote negative things to make them completely happy. However, we cannot do that. Because sometimes there's a reason why we have struggles. Sometimes we have reasons we go through painful periods in our lives. But know that 100% nobody is always painful all of the time, every single second of the day. We experience ups and downs. And the ups and downs, the black and white, the shadow and light, all exist, coexist together. They all. Kind of help each other, right? We know that.、And、that's what we help people do in our therapy sessions and our facilitation sessions. We help them connect to the dark parts as well as the light parts. That's the beauty of what we do, right? It makes it easy for people to do that through art, right? And so, what I'm trying to get here, I'm, I feel like I'm just going on and <laughs> about this <laughs> metaphor, but. We cannot obliterate the dark, right? We're not gonna, we can't do that for people. So, we're not gonna save. We, we know, we believe that people are strong. We believe that people are abundant. We believe that there is resourcefulness in people. And then they are not relegated to poverty, if that's the situation, forever. They can make decisions. We all have decisions to make in our lives, right? We can strategize, they can strategize, they can figure things out too. And also believe in that infinite possibility that I mentioned before, right? There are so many infinite possibilities that might not be exactly like in the control of the、uh, potential clients, however, things can happen, right? So don't take away people's power and resource for. Resourcefulness and don't take away the infinite possibilities that exist that will allow the client to be able to see you and book your session. Just so many possibilities, right? So bask in that possibility, believe in that possibility because that's what our role is to believe in the possibility. That's our role. And clients come to us because we believe in their possibilities. And that's what they're seeking. And so stay firm with your pricing, stay firm with your offer. Yeah, it's okay. If someone cannot pay you, someone cannot book you right now, that doesn't mean anything about the future. Things can happen, right? Possibilities. Remember, possibilities. So stay firm with your belief. In your sessions, in your pricing, stay firm with your belief in getting clients as well. Because we have now worked through the limiting belief that people can't book our sessions because they can't pay for it. Now we know that that's not going to block us from people booking us. Now we know that we are going to get clients, right? It's easy to get clients. All right, so I hope that this was really helpful for you. Sometimes our limiting beliefs and、uh, the scarcity mindset can really run deep. Sometimes we don't even realize it, right? And so it's, I think, very important to talk about this consciously and work through this if we are struggling with people booking or the belief that people can't book our sessions. Right, so we can still make a difference in this world by serving people who can come to us right now. We don't have to hurry and serve everybody at once and do what is superhuman. We are here to humbly serve, serve with humility, one person at a time. So, thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye bye.